Hi, welcome to Plumbush Farm. I'm Gabe. We're beginning our milk test verification. We've been doing milk tests for close to a year now, but we're to the point where for some of our does to be able to earn their milk star, we have to have a verification test. So the person we have doing our milk test verification is a church friend who has taken the necessary test so that she is qualified to verify our results. What we have to do tonight is just make sure we have the goats milked out. So come on out to the farm with us and let's go see how this works. Okay, well, it's a warm evening, but we got our milking done. It's been really hot. Today was probably the hottest day of the year. It was about 97 degrees. So we're a little bit concerned that that could affect our milk weights tomorrow. And of course, you don't really wanna see your weights go down when you have a verification test because then it just makes you look like uh, you weren't being honest the rest of the time. Whenever we get around to milk test time, we try to make sure the goats have plenty to eat, lots of clean water, and are feeling pretty happy. And one thing we can't control with that is the weather. But it is what it is. We'll do the best we can with what we have. And we'll see what kind of weights we get in the morning. Stay tuned. All in there. Good deal. Just like this. Bring the goat in. We have to check the tattoo. We have to measure the goat. Then we melt the goat. Then... Carrie records the weight and puts the sample. Is Carrie required to measure them or just to verify that they're measured correctly? I don't know what it says. Okay, we'll read about that. Find out. She just needs to sign off on it. It's time for our verification test. And we've got some goats who are feeling like it is time to be milked. Looking for a tattoo. Uh, her left ear will have her. She's gotten some pull to her. The first step in the verification is to bring the goats in, and we're going to check their tattoos. Once we have that tattoo checked, we're going to verify that these goats are not over height. And to do that, we're going to measure them with a square and a level, and Carrie will record their height. You going to show us how to open the gate there, honey? That's how you do it. We wash and clean the goat like normal and go ahead and milk them. The tester does not have to do the milking. All Carrie has to do is observe and make sure that we're giving her the milk from the correct goats, etc. After the goat is milked, we hand that milk off to Carrie and she's gonna make sure her scale is zeroed out and then weigh the milk. Once she has the milk weighed, then she's going to pour it back and forth a couple times to make sure the cream is evenly distributed through the milk. And after that, she's going to fill the vial half full with the milk. She's filling it half full because this is the morning milking. In the evening, we'll fill it the rest of the way to the line. Once she has that all done, it's a matter of writing those numbers down. Once we've completed the verification test, our goats will then be eligible for their milk star and to have that added to their pedigree. All right, well, that wraps up a successful milk test, verification test. We'll be doing the same thing again tonight, of course. If you have any questions about it, feel free to leave them in the comments. We'll try to answer them. Thanks for coming along with us today. Hope you have a good day.